Hey guys, it's me again, JT from DelicateBeats.com, author of the book, The Bedroom Super Producer. In this video, I want to show you the exact business model of bedroom super producers. So where do they sell their music? Who are their customers? What kind of mindset does it take to go from bedroom producer to bedroom super producer? And finally, just how much money a single song can generate an income using this new business model. This is literally going to be a mini masterclass on stock music licensing. So you want to make sure you listen up until the end of the video. Plus, it's free. So just to recap a bit, in my previous video, I shared with you my painful journey going from, you know, hating my job to creating my dream job as a music producer selling my beats online. I also shared with you a common misconception a lot of people seem to have online that you kind of have to become some marketing guru to make beat selling work for you online. I also told you about my fast growing readership as well as the fast growing community of producers I've put together on Instagram. People just like yourself who are passionate about music production and who want to take their careers to that next level. And finally, I've shared with you three freedoms that you will get if you start applying the principles that I teach in my book and in this online program. Freedom of choice, financial freedom, and freedom of time. So to achieve these three freedoms, I'm going to have to teach you a few things. So let's pull up the virtual whiteboard, shall we? Part one, becoming a musical entrepreneur. Being a creator is kind of like being a parent. Each of our beats are like our babies. We love them dearly and we want what's best for them. Selling the beats is like sending them off to adoption. For most, this is a heart-wrenching experience. When I first started selling beats, I wanted to be able to handpick which artist each of the beats were going to. I wanted the best possible rapper for each of what I considered the most fire beats. At the time, my younger brother was a partner in the beat selling business, and he was also a business mentor to me. He was just finishing his MBA, and he had quite a different outlook on what needed to be done to make this beat selling business a success. The three biggest lessons he taught me were first come, first served, stick to one price chart, and third, volume is key. So being the artist that I was, I wanted to handpick my customers. I wanted to keep a level of control over the collaboration process. I also had a tendency to modulate the pricing based on my appreciation of the customer's work. So if the artist wasn't all that good, I wanted to make the most money because I knew that the beat that I was sending him would not amount to anything special. As you can probably tell, this pretty much goes against every lesson that my brother taught me. We had a lot of arguments and it was a hard fought battle, but in the end, I think my brother won uh, to the greatest benefits of both of us. So to be successful online, you'll have to set your egos, yes, with an S aside. And those are your artistic ego and your financial ego. Setting your artistic ego aside. So like I said, it's not about selling to the artist that has the most clout. This only serves our ego. And also, usually these good artists are fewer and general rule of thumb, they don't have more money to invest in their craft. Also, as you'll see in module number five, this is not a showing off contest. The music that sells is not the most complex. So if you're a seasoned music composer, I want you to really set your artistic ego aside. This is the harsh reality. Your customers don't get it. They don't understand the intricacy of your musical genius. All they know is their feelings. So does your song make them feel good, excited? So you will have to dumb down your music if you're a seasoned vet. I also want you to accept the following bedroom super producer rule. Beats are digital products meant to be sold. They're not babies. Setting your financial ego aside. Let's go back to my story for a minute. When I first started selling beats, I only sold exclusive licenses. That means that I can only sell the beat once 
So I pretty much have to raise the price as much as possible to make a profit. Unfortunately, most of the artists locally don't have a whole lot of budget. So do you see the dead end I was leading myself into? So to set your financial ego aside, I want you to accept the following statement. Beats are meant to be sold at lower prices, also known as non-exclusive licenses, to as many customers as possible. Listen, it took me months, probably years, to really integrate those principles into my business endeavors. So just take your time. Part number two, understanding the math behind the business model of bedroom super producers. Let's understand the math behind the business model. First, I'd like to touch upon a concept, which is the at your hourly rate. So how much exactly do you make per hour when working on beats? I also want you to understand what a license is. A license is basically a contract between you and the customer uh, regarding how and uh, when and where they can use your music track for their business endeavors. There are two main types of licenses. Exclusive, which means this is a one-off transaction. You sell the beat once and then the customer pretty much shares the copyrights um, or the right to reproduce your music with yourself. And then non-exclusive licenses, which allows a composer to sell as many licenses as they want for one particular song. So let's start with a simple example. Let's say you sell one exclusive license of one beat for the amount of $300, a beat that took you roughly 12 hours to make. That means that if you sell it for $300, you divide that by 12 hours, it gives you an hourly rate of $25 per hour. Not too shabby, but can we improve this? Because selling one beat per week, 50 weeks out of the year, for each an amount of $300 is quite difficult. Also, uh, it requires from you that you'll produce at least 50 beats per year to refill this, uh, the, uh, your, your inventory, basically. So I'm saying there has to be an easy way and we're, dis we're going to discover exactly how. So let's take our first example and switch some variables. First of all, the license that you, the producer, is selling is now one non-exclusive license. And instead of $300, uh, $300 we're going to se sell this license for $30. The same beat that took you 12 hours to make. Now let's introduce another concept, which is the conversion rate. That means that for, let's say, each hundred people that will hear the song, if your conversion rate is 1%, that means that over 100 customers that heard the song, one is actually going to be a buyer. And let's, for the sake of this example, use the value of 100 weekly visitors to your Beat website, a website that you would maintain, drive traffic to, etc., etc. So 1% of 100 visitors is one buyer per week per beat. And if we have one sale times $30 times 50 weeks divided by 12 hours that it took to make the beat, you now have an hourly rate of $125 an hour. So just by switching the license type, you've 5X'd your hourly rate. So how does the $125 an hour sound? Do you actually know of many jobs that you could possibly get that pay such a fee? But wait, I've got more for you guys, all right? Let's say now that instead of your own little beat selling website, you switch this beat to a bigger website with more traffic. Let's say for the sake of this example, 
you now get a thousand marketplace visitors at a at a one percent conversion rate you now get 10 buyers per week per beat so that means that 10 sales times the non-exclusive license price of thirty dollars times 50 weeks out of the year again this beat took us 12 hours to make ladies and gentlemen this beat is now worth twelve hundred and fifty dollars an hour now the value that i gave to the traffic on the marketplace is quite small so do you see just how powerful this business model is in this scenario that means that the one beat that you made and sold on a marketplace was now worth to you 15k for the year those equations were on the pessimistic side what i mean by that is that you can actually get way more than that and imagine now that i show you a workflow that allows you to compose beats in way under 12 hours just how much money you can possibly make per hour just by making music and selling it selling it on marketplaces online part number three understanding who your customers are and what they need as we said customers on these marketplaces are content creators bloggers vloggers youtubers ad agencies and companies who need to create content such as videos web series podcasts even in a nutshell they are image people we are sound people we are experts who need to understand their needs and wants yes we can be style curators and suggest innovative avenues for new styles of music to complement their images but all in all we need to enter this game with an open mind we need to give these customers what they ask for that's why beginners need to learn how to make broadcast world-class music and that's also why experts need to dumb down their game so that yes they have a certain level of quality and sophistication but it's not too complex or too elaborate so that their customers the content creators don't get it so let's talk about these image people yes they are creative but they do not know music the way we do they know stories and they know emotions so our music needs to set the stage for these stories and emotions things like joy danger progress peace and they also need to illustrate every single shade of gray within these concepts the music needs to support colors rhythms big and small places and certain types of human beings on top of that our customers the content creators need to serve a particular audience their customers these customers are companies who sell products and services and who have a very specific target audience in mind they reach this audience by selling a lifestyle certain emotions and values that inspire this audience so understanding the needs and wants of this audience is our work we need to create music that support this lifestyle that we're selling these values and the emotions that come with this our music links the stories the content creators and the product those companies selling the products and services so we are selling a lifestyle a personality and a dream in a moment i will show you how this marriage between sound and image is achieved by some of the best composers in the world we will talk about instrumentation arrangements mixing and overall song concepts all tools that we will use to make this work before that i would like to talk about how to find a niche finding your niche is your ticket to being competitive in this game if you try to compete on somebody else's terms you will most likely lose some composers have perfected a certain style over several years and if you just try to mimic this style without adding your own twist you will most likely fail let me give you an example when i started i was still a hip-hop producer so i had to figure out a way 
to make hip hop beats without sampling that would be competitive with all of this corporate music, pop rock songs that flooded the stock music game. So I figured the best way for me to create a hip hop niche would be to create this trailer sounding style using and investing in the best orchestral libraries out there and meshing them with hard, genuine sounding old school hip hop tracks. This is actually how Greatness, one of my best sellers, uh, was born. We will see later in the masterclass exactly how I composed this beat. Once I had found my first niche, this hip hop trailer dramatic hip hop beats niche, I tried to open up new niches for myself to broaden my audience and to increase my sales. That's how I came up with the second beat, which was more of a funky guitar driven EDM sound. At the time, there weren't too many EDM tracks, so I figured if I mesh it with a more organic sounding instrument, such as the electric guitar, but with the hard dance beats, I would have something very interesting. And it worked. I was at the top of the dance charts within months. So use this equation to find your own niche, a genre that is not too crowded on your music marketplace, and a style of music that you can produce with little to no effort. Then what you want to do is create 10 songs within that niche. You post them online, and judging by the sales, try to figure out why certain songs worked and some did not. Always evaluate your work and refine this niche creation process over and over and over again. All right, so now let's jump on a computer and let's analyze how some of the best composers in the world create these niches and really put the product in a whole new light using their music with these great images that our customers create. Part four, leveraging the power of music marketplaces to generate more automated sales for your music. The sales team is the most important team in any business. I know how difficult it can be to develop your products and services while selling them. There's also a very big shift in your mindset that needs to happen before an artist can overcome their disdain of sales and marketing. So here's my solution to you. Don't sell. In my book, The Bedroom Super Producer, I describe an entire business model that requires little to no effort in the sales and marketing department. You see, there are hundreds and hundreds of companies out there that are willing and ready to sell your musical product right now. These companies are called music marketplaces. If you open Google right now and use any combination of the following keywords, stock music, royalty free music, production music, music library, you will be presented with more websites than you can handle. These companies invest a lot of money in getting customers to buy your music. They market their website and music catalog in a capacity that you might never be able to match. So as they say, if you can't beat them, join them. If you're just getting started building your side business as a music producer, this is by far the safest strategy out there. All you have to do is focus on your product, your music, and they'll take care of the rest. Obviously, they take a cut when they sell your music, but you gotta give to get, right? Tell me what's better, to get the whole of a tiny pie or to get a slice of a gigantic one. So here's what you're going to do. Number one, find what you're good at. Play to your musical strengths. Create a niche that highlights your special talent in music. Something that'll help you stand out from the crowd. Make sure it meets the needs of content creators, the customers on these music marketplaces. Number two, build your catalog. Start producing 10 rock solid tracks within the niche that you've outlined. Showcase your talent by playing to your strengths while hiding your weaknesses. Number three, put together a list of the music marketplaces you want to work with. Build a spreadsheet that highlights the contract type and the requirements from music composers to work with these companies. Once you're ready, number four, sign contracts. You want to make sure that like in the stock market, 
you have a portfolio that's diverse. So sign contracts that are both exclusive and non-exclusive. Number five, upload your catalog to these websites. And finally, number six, monitor the sales activity and find out if your niche is successful. Make adjustments to the music according to the views and sales on these tracks. Sounds simple, right? It is, but it's also a lot of work. Wow, that was a lot to chew, wasn't it? You now know quite a few of my secrets, so I guess we're friends now, right? In the Bedroom Super Producer Masterclass, I'm going to teach you exactly how to find the right libraries for your music, which ones are the right fit for you, and a step-by-step -step process to approach these music marketplaces and sign contracts with them and work with them. I'm also going to show you from start to finish exactly how I create my songs. Songs that are broadcast ready, world-class level songs that sell over and over again. And better yet, songs that take me just a few hours a week to produce. I'm also going to show you how to trigger the right emotions from your customers so they keep coming back, buying again and again your work. I'm also going to teach you how to get that double whammy effect and get money on the back end from your PRO when you sell music on these marketplaces. In my previous video, I also shared a case study of a friend of mine. His name is Vincent Tone on premiumbeat.com. And this guy has an amazing career in part because of the freedom that the Ways of the Bedroom Super Producers brings to his career. He earns a very, very good living just from the stock music licensing game. But that automated stream of income allows him to be free and he can pick and choose what projects he wants to work on. And he's very passionate about produ producing music for artists. And in the last year, he gathered gold and platinum plaques working with world-renowned artists. So I think that's just one of the ways you can leverage the freedom that comes from an automated stream of income such as stock music licensing. And you know what? He and I, we're just regular guys. We, we started at the same spot you are probably at right now. Sure, we have some, some talent and some drive, but you know what? We started at the same exact spot you're probably in right now. I, listen, I'm just so excited to see what you guys will be able to do learning the ways of the bedroom super producers. We, Vincent Son and I, have done great for ourselves, but I think the new generation will even be able to teach us a few things once you learn what's in the masterclass. In the next video, I'm super pumped because I'm finally going to reveal to you the exact content of the masterclass itself every module and everything that's within each of those modules will be explained to you in detail. And I'm also going to talk about my own personal blueprint, something I like to call business value music creation. That's just going to revolutionize the way you approach music making. I'm going to show you exactly how all of the pieces of the puzzle fit together in a way that you can provide the exact product marketplaces need for their customers. Music that content creators will purchase again and again and again. And most importantly, music that you can compose on a daily basis in just a few hours once you learn all of my techniques and the way I approach music making. Also, make sure to mark your calendar. The Bedroom Super Producer Masterclass will be going live on Monday, November 4th. By the way, that's my birthday, so come say hi. Members of my early bird gang will get early access to the masterclass before the date of November the 4th on Monday. Sunday, I'm going to send a unique email to every member of the early bird gang with a registration link that will allow you to reserve your spot in the masterclass. So again, put your name and email on the early bird waiting list to make sure you don't miss out on this incredible, I think, opportunity. To do that, you can find a link under this video. You click there, you enter your name, email. It's really easy, it's really simple. So I'm not sure exactly how many students I can manage to get on board in this first installment of the master class. Because of that, and it's probably gonna be a low number, you wanna make sure 
that you have your spot reserved. With that being said, there's just one more thing I want you to do. Go below the video and enter a comment or a question about the content of this second video of the three part series. I want to hear what your thoughts are, what your concerns are. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.